Hi, thanks for joining us today and welcome to our demonstration. I'm Tom Luft and with me is Debbie Hoff and we are from the Sales and Marketing Group at NERCON. And we are inside NERCON's Modern Manufacturing Facility in Wisconsin where we are excited to be showing you some of our vertical conveyor solutions. For those watching, our chat team is available to answer your questions at our virtual showroom, NERCON Conveyor Systems. So Tom, what do you have for us? So to start with today, we have our Spyrex, and it's a great spiral solution for smaller products, maybe fragile products, uh, anything such as cartons, jugs, bottles. Uh, this particular unit is stainless steel construction. We also make it in painted mild steel construction. The nice thing about stainless steel is that it's able to be wiped down, or if you have a low pressure spray, sometimes if you get something on the equipment, you can spray it off. Uh, it is bolted construction, a modular design, so you can add tiers to the spiral if you need to go up higher. We also have different angles that we can have for each tier, so if it's a little product that can go up a steeper angle, we can accommodate for that. We also have multiple configurations for the infeed and discharge. This one comes in and goes out at 90 degrees or 180 degrees. We can also uh, bring it from overhead and come down to the ground. So it, it not only elevates products, but it lowers products as well. So it's a real great solution, very small footprint. Yeah, great compact solution. Um, behind me, we have the washdown spiral. Let's talk a little more about this. This is Nurcon's washdown spiral. It is a stainless steel, sanitary, hygienic design. It's clean in place and self-draining, so you, you can wash everything off right here, any debris or anything else that's uh, on the spiral. It utilizes interlocks plastic belting, which is corrosion resistant, so you can wash this down as often as you need. Uh, it also has sprockets that engage the belting at each tier on the outside, so there's no chance of the belt slipping. We can run heavier products such as cases up the spiral. We can make it taller because of that. So it's a great drive system. And again, this one also has multiple infeed and discharge uh, locations. We can also have various angles depending upon what your product can tolerate without slippering. This belting is also available with a friction surface. So there's a lot of choices uh, for this wash on spiral. That cleanability is a great solution. Right. We have um, some common questions that we get about both the Spyrex and the washdown. Let's run through a few of those while we're here. Can the washdown spiral be used in a freezer? We get asked that question a lot. Unfortunately, no, it cannot. The plastic interlock belting is not rated to be used in a freezer. A lot of times, freezer belts are 36, 42, 44 inches wide. We like to keep this belting in the 6 inch wide up to about 20 inches wide so that we can fit the unit on a semi-trailer without splitting it. And so not really suitable for a, a refrigerated uh, environment either. We like to have it in an ambient room temperature. Okay. Another question for the wash down. What types of products can the wash down spiral handle? You know, most popular products are food products that are wrapped, so products in cartons or trays or individually wrapped. Uh, like I mentioned before, we can also do cases and you could do larger bottles, things like that. You know, we do have to pay attention to the transitions onto and off the spiral. So you can work with our sales and engineering team to determine the best way to, to transfer the products on and off if they are smaller products. But it's a great solution for, for food products. Another question we have, it's a common question that we get about most of our conveyor systems. Lead time for both the Spyrex and the wash on spiral. Uh, explain a little bit about the lead time. Yeah, our lead time for both spirals is typically eight to 10 weeks. Uh, so that's fast, you know, it's faster than most of the, the competitors who offer spirals. Uh, if you do go very tall with it or have some special features that you wanna add to it, you know, that might push out the delivery a little bit, but normally, you know, from when we get the order, it's about eight to 10. So one of our focuses here at NERCON is to really deliver quickly. Absolutely. Great. Right. Um, last question, how high can our spirals go? Most of the time we are trying to create an aisle way. So we're going about 10 to 12 feet to allow for forklift access or operator access, pallet jacks to walk through, things like that. We can get up to 20 to 25 feet, you know, but that's gonna depend upon 
the rate, the speed, the product, the loading, and a number of factors. So, you know, that again, work with our, our sales team, our applications engineering team to, to figure out what the best solution will be and, and figure out how high we can go. So that's, you know, our wash down spiral. We do have a video that we'd like you to watch right now that shows the wash down spiral being cleaned. Enjoy. Higher sanitation standards required in today's manufacturing facilities has led to the demand for new sanitary equipment, including conveying solutions. NERCON's Clean in Place Washdown Spiral is designed specifically with sanitation in mind as clean in place equipment greatly reduces changeover time by eliminating the need to move parts to and from a remote cleaning station. The ability to withstand up to 1500 PSI washdown pressure, NERCON's Washdown Spiral has an open construction for readily accessible cleaning, inspection, and maintenance. Thanks for watching the video on the washdown spiral getting clean. Our last piece of equipment to show today is the gripper elevator. Let me turn on the infeed conveyor. And the gripper elevator can take products up overhead. Our gripper low rater does just the opposite, brings them overhead down to the floor level. This particular unit is stainless steel construction. So that's a choice as well as painted mild steel. Uh, it's very easy to adjust the width. All you have to do is turn the hand wheel or the hand crank and open and close the gripper to the various product sizes that you may run on it. We can offer a scale as well. So you need to set the opening to let's say five inches. Your operator comes up, sets the opening to five inches and away you go. So very easy, very easy to use. There's the S shaped configuration or the C shaped configuration, this being the S shaped. If you do utilize a C-shaped configuration, it will invert your product and flip it over. So in some products that doesn't matter, but that is one consideration uh, to discharge it going in the opposite direction. And as I mentioned earlier, it can go both up and down. So this is a gripper elevator, but we also have the gripper lower rater that brings products down to the ground. So the versatility within the one, within the one piece of equipment. Absolutely, yep. Um, a common question we get about the gripper is, can it handle empty containers? A lot of times we see the gripper handling full containers that are sealed, uh, such as you know cans or cases or bottles, but we have used it for empty containers. So if you have a canister or an aluminum can, uh, we may be able to use a gripper for that. We certainly like to test it ahead of time to see if how fragile your product is and if there's any damage. But you usually can set that gripper to get just enough grip to, to be able to elevate or lower the product and without damaging it, but certainly send us some samples and, and we'll test it out. So with the Spirex and the Washdown and the Gripper and, and these available choices, how do you decide which is the best option to recommend for the project? Yeah, there's a lot of considerations. You know, first and foremost, what is the product? What's the weight, the rate, the size of the product, the rigidity, the packaging material? Are you running different sizes? You know, so there's a lot to do with the product, what temperature it is, is it frozen, is it hot? Uh, you know, we also look at, can we squeeze it? In this case, if you run something on a gripper, you're gonna have to be able to squeeze it. What floor space do you have available, both horizontally and vertically? So we'd like to do a lot of testing, you know, whether that's on conveyor to see what kind of incline or decline the product can handle, or how well it'll run on a spiral without tipping, or we can also put, products into the gripper elevator to see on heavier ones how well they'll be you know raised up and overhead so we do a lot of testing so besides the three options that we've seen today um, what other conveyor solutions do you have to meet the specifications you were talking about for elevating and lowering products yeah these aren't the only choices so we also can make alpine systems which are a series of longer conveyors that can incline and decline and you know that depends upon your product whether how well that's going to work you know usually it's a shallower angle so it doesn't slip we also make a draper system which a draper has a lower conveyor that's has a friction belting and it runs at a pretty steep incline 
And then it also has a second conveyor that is not powered, but the belting of that conveyor drapes over the top of your product. We've seen that uh, very in a lot of applications for cases where you have a very tight space and you want to get up quickly and you don't want to squeeze the product. You just want to hold it down with this draper section. So, you know, that's what we do. Uh, we also offer case elevators, which index one case at a time vertically. Then the next case comes in. Once it gets up to the top, we push one case out at a time with a pneumatic cylinder. So lots of different choices. Thanks for the great information today, Tom. Sure. We appreciate you taking the time to watch this demonstration. If you have any questions about what you've seen, our um, chat team of conveyor experts are available to answer your questions at our virtual showroom. Please go there and um, ask your questions and get the answers that you're looking for. We have three additional recorded demos that you can find in our showroom. Be sure to watch those if you haven't already had a chance. And thanks again for joining us. Thanks, everyone.